Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have the 2020, the 2015 AMO question four. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, this question is actually going to be kind of a relaxed question. So this says that an irreducible fraction a over b can also be written in the form two over m plus one over n squared, and n is a positive integer. Now, we know that a plus b is 1024, and our job is to find a. Hmm, so how do we do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two fractions to make a one single fraction, so that it is easier to compare with a over b. So you can easily see that 2 over n plus 1 over n squared is just, if you multiply this fraction, top and bottom, by n, this becomes n squared, and this becomes 2n. So this is just equal to 2n plus 1 over n squared. Okay? Hmm. So, now we know that a plus b is just equal to this. Now, another note. If a over b is an irreducible fraction, then a and b must be co-prime. Now, would it be that easy if a is just equal to the top and b is equal to the bottom? Hmm, well, that could be possible. But before we jump to conclusions, we first have to prove that 2n plus 1 and n squared are co-prime. Now, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to use a proof by contradiction. So, if I assume that there is a common prime factor, d, that divides both 2n plus 1 and n squared, okay? So, we know that d has to divide 2n plus 1 and n squared. Now, if d divides n squared, then d also must divide n because d is prime. And of course, using simple logic, if d can divide n, then d can divide 2n. And now, it is impossible to, for d to divide 2n and 2n plus 1 at the same time, unless d is 1. And if d is 1, then that means that these two are co-prime. So we have proved that these two numbers are actually co-prime. Okay, so now that we know that a is just equal to 2n plus 1, and b is equal to n squared. Then, we know that a plus b is 1024, right? So if we add these two numbers up, we actually noted it is a perfect square. And it is actually the square of n plus 1 squared. And this is just equal to 1024. Now, if you try this on your own, 1024 is actually a really good number because it is exactly 2 to the 10th power, right? And we can write 2 to the 10th power as 2 to the 5th power squared. So this is just 32 squared. Now, since n is a positive integer, then we can take square root both sides. So we can see that n plus 1 is just 32. So n is 31. Now, the question is asking us for a, and we know a is 2n plus 1. So we can see that a is just 2n is 62 plus 1 is 63. Done. So this is the final answer of the 2015 I. So this is the final answer of the 2015 AIMO question 4. So. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and if you enjoy my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.